Hello, today we're at Graysonville Elementary School and we're going to learn about Make a Difference Day. How are you, ladies? Hi, how are you? We're well, nice to be thank here. you. It's glad to be here. That's great. Right. Well, no. tell us all about Great Make a Difference Day and tell us who you are. Okay, my name is Candace Darling. Mm -hmm. um, I formerly worked with the Queen Anne's County Department of Housing and Community Services. This is how this got started. Um, and this is one of my great co-chairs that I couldn't do anything without. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'm, let you introduce yourself. I'm Judy Corcorino, and I'm just a community representative. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. And not just Judy, that's <laughs> awesome. She, Judy does, she's a community representative for a lot of different causes here in Queen <laughs> County. That's wonderful. She's a great asset. That's so. great. Uh, Make a Difference Day is going to be held here in Graysonville Elementary School on Saturday, November 5th, from 9 in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. Okay. And basically what this is, is we have found that if we bring all the services in one place and actually provide a service, um, we are more apt to pe um, help people who are at risk or homeless. Mm -hmm. And because you, if you think about it, if you got somebody that's making minimum wage and they have to stop and take time off to go get a flu shot, to mm -hmm. get a birth certificate for a child, to get um, any services whatsoever, th they're going to lose money even if they could even do it. That's you know? right. So this is, this is a great program where everything is here and they are actually provided with the service that day. That's wonderful. And I'll let um, Judy tell you about okay. some of the great some vendors of the, okay, we have. Some of the services We'll have uh, legal services here. Okay. We'll have doctors uh, be able to do hearing tests, eye tests. We even have a company that has cell phones and they could be activated that day. Uh, we have all the services that social services and the health department might offer. Uh, they also can get a haircut while oh. they're here. Uh, their flu shot. Mm -hmm. uh, what am I forgetting? Uh, there'll dental. also be veterans services. We'll have two dental vans oh, with nice. two de local mm -hmm. dentists who have um, volunteered their time and they will be doing uh, minimal dental they'll do cleaning and they did some extractions last year too if yeah. it was necessary yeah. we've also got areas that can be semi-private mm -hmm. if somebody needs to consult legally or the family violence people mm -hmm. uh, will have HIV testing that would be done in private mm -hmm. as well so all of the different services that somebody might need well it sounds like an awesome day ladies and it's really needed in our county you know uh, a lot of us have medical but we don't have mm -hmm. dental Right, mm -hmm. and we all know those that's a huge expense, exactly. And yet, our teeth are very important to our health, yeah, exactly. Definitely. And uh, I think it's wonderful that the resources mm -hmm. are going to be here. I uh, prior worked with housing, and people a lot of people in our county don't know that we actually have homeless in our county, mm -hmm. and we can, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. call it hidden homeless because we in the urban community we expect to see people on the street exactly. under a bridge right but in in the rural mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. they are from sofa to sofa yep. and mm -hmm. possibly in their car that's right that's so correct. this is a great thing uh -huh. to have well it also is. we'll be feeding them too there'll be uh, breakfast and lunch provided uh -huh. for, mm -hmm. for our guests that will be and here. they'll all walk away with a bag lunch um, courtesy of Sodexo that's wonderful so it's just it's a great day yeah. this is our third year mm -hmm. our first year we started and we didn't have as many guests as we anticipated. Last year we tripled it and we wow. hope to do that again yeah. this yeah. year. It's That's just an great. awesome day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We also have opportunities if anybody wants to volunteer. We look for volunteers to um, be navigators for each of the homeless or mm -hmm. at-risk families to bring them around, make sure they get to all the services that they need. Okay. So uh, I believe you might have some information on your site mm -hmm. and people do want to volunteer. And we still have room for more vendors too if you haven't gotten right. in touch with us wonderful and donations are always welcome okay because everybody that comes through the doors walks through away with a $25 um, gift card to food line that is for wonderful food. that's yeah. wonderful and other mm -hmm. gifts too according to what donations okay. we can get mm -hmm. the other service that we have is the family center from mm -hmm. Sutlersville will be actually here at Graysonville Elementary and set up a play area for any families that do come with their kids so the kids are entertained while the families can walk around and do what services or inquire on different things that they they might need to oh, know that's about. Fun. That's fun. And transportation will be made available for those that need it. Um, 
we will give you the information okay. so that you can call. And we hope that everybody turns out. It's going to be a wonderful day. Yes, it's a it is. Great day of service. And I'll tell you what, the vendors and the volunteers get just as much out of it as the participants. I'm sure. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh. sure. Well, thank you, ladies, for telling us about this great oh, day. Thank you for and again, you. tell us the date one more time. November 5th, which is a Saturday, mm -hmm. from 9 a.m. to 2.30 right here at Graysonville Elementary. Mm -hmm. All right. So come make a difference in your life and others. This is Renee with QAC-TV. Have a wonderful day.